the other thing that is very useful uh, with these options, this will save a lot of time if you are teaching a course that you've taught already. Okay, so here we are in this Google Classroom, the sample class. And so uh, what we want to do when we're finished with our course, and so if we go to classes, I only have one class, but if you have taught many classes, um, archiving them is a great way to clear the class from your list. It also will remove the class from your students list of classes that they're enrolled in but they'll still have access to any files that they've submitted to that classroom okay so to archive you just want to go to the three dots here the, for your more options and archive and so it's telling you here you can't update anything uh, unless you restore the class so we archive it and now it's removed from my list and so if I want to retrieve my class that I've archived it's right here okay and so you can see with the lines through it that's the way to tell you that it's not actually active right now and so if you want to bring it back you want to restore that class then you just have to hit restore okay so that's one thing to keep in mind uh, the the other thing that is very useful uh, with these options so whether the class is archived or not you'll have this copy option okay and just to show you even if I archive it and I go back to that class again I have that option to restore it but there's this option to copy it so let's say I've archived the class it's summer vacation and I find out finally what I'm teaching, uh, you know, come the next school year, and it's the exact same class. Okay, I'm teaching that same course again, which is great. I've done a lot of work for it, I'm prepared. And so if I want to just copy this class, okay, it, um, let's say I want to rename it. Okay, and so this will be class two. Uh, maybe it's it's in a different section so I copy the class so again this works whether this is archived or not you can copy a class and a very cool feature is there when you copy the class okay so here's my sample class 2 this is the copied class and just to compare let me restore my archived class again Okay, so here are my two classes, my copied class and my original. And so if I go into my original, and I go into classwork, you see I just, this was just some sample stuff here. I had some sample lesson, a sample assignment, okay. Um, so this is my original class. If I go to my copied class, so you'll notice there's nothing in the stream okay so there's nothing in the stream um, it did it would not copy my roster okay so I still would have to give a code or invite students into this class but if I go to classwork anything posted in classwork in that original class is copied to this new class okay and the, the important thing is it's copied as a draft so now I can have a whole semester's worth of assignments and lessons just waiting here for me to either edit or, you know, if I want to keep everything the exact same, then it's there ready for me to post. Okay. And so this will save a lot of time if you are teaching a course that you've taught already. Assignments that I've used and I want to reuse them, copy the entire class. Uh, and so that all of that classwork gets copied, saved as a draft, and is just waiting for you, for you to edit 
or a post. Okay, so I hope you found that useful and I will see you in the next one.